today's review is basically what I'm going to do bookwise is start kind of do chronological order of the way I discovered what I like to read now. And I started out reading romance novels. I think that probably every woman has read a romance novel at some point. And believe it or not, there are a whole bunch of different genres within romance. Some people like contemporary, some people like historical, there's time travel, there's alternate reality, there's sci-fi. I mean, like, there's just tons of different genres. But I started out sort of in the time travel area. And for some reason, Scotland is, like, just huge. And I understand the excitement of men in kilts, you know. But um, one of the first books I read was by Lynn Curland, A Dance Through Time, and she has a whole series. And what makes her books really neat, and I don't think it has it in the back of this one. I did, I lied. Um, all of her characters are connected, you know, like through time, present time, and the past. They're really interesting. Um, what's also really nice about these books, if you're not into like full on hardcore sex, they're very, very tame on that end. You know, it just kind of says they kissed and fell into bed and then they kind of wake up in the morning. So, um, say you read a lot of books as a mother and your teenage daughter or somebody that maybe you don't want reading the hardcore stuff wants to read something, I would recommend these. Of course, read it yourself to see if you agree with my standards, but they're pretty good. They're not totally lame. I mean, there's sexual tension. You can't have that without, in, you know, in a romance novel, but, um, as I said, all the characters are connected, and that's what I really love is through her series. You'll get to know a character in another book, and he's really intriguing, or she is really intriguing, and then their story will come around about how they fell in love. And um, Her first books are really great. She's on probably like book 15 or something, and they do not go in chronological order time-wise because of the time travel thing. They're kind of all over the place. You don't know who she's going to write about next. It's not obvious. But she's starting to get a little bit formulaic. Um, I definitely have my favorites in the series. This one, and then the lead character in this one, her brother, is one of the next books. Um, maybe I'll do some single book reviews in this series and tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't. But right now I'm just going to say Lynn Curland. She's a pretty darn good writer. Really interesting. There's dialogue and things happening. It's not just them rolling around. And <coughs> Excuse me. There's also none of those cheesy things where some man breaks into a girl's bedroom and she has no idea who he is but she's suddenly attracted to him. I don't know any girl who would find a man in her bedroom and not start screaming bloody hell because they were scared. There's nobody on the planet that would go, ooh, I find him attractive. No. So there is a bit of reality to that. The time travel thing, obviously not reality, but I like her characters. She's got a good writing style and um, all of her supporting characters are really great. So much so that you're really excited when one of the books come out and one of the supporting characters is now the main character. Um, I will put the link in the sidebar for at least an Amazon link. I'll try to find her personal website so you can read about it. A lot of times the personal websites have better ex you know, excerpts or whatever they call them for the book and you can read a little bit of it on your own and see if you like them as much as I do. Um, I will also, side note, I got my mother hooked on these and we, between the two of us, we own all of them in the series and we've both read most of them at least twice. She also does some little novellas, if you guys know what that is, short little stories, so um, some characters that you really want to hear their story, they're just short little ones, and she gets to the point, those are nice too. So I hope you enjoy these books as much as I did.